Howdy folks, EJ here, and I just wanted to make you aware of a cool little project that just came out. It is an adventure map made by Dragnaz, based on the painting by Peter Blake called The Toy Shop. It's a part of the Tate Worlds project to recreate classical pieces of art in Minecraft so that people can get a further understanding about the art piece itself and about the culture history of both the painter and the painting. This particular painting is called The Toy Shop, and it is by Peter Blake. And uh, the map was made by Adam Clark and, with his build team, along with Dragnos, who did most of the redstone and game mechanics. And then there were a bunch of other people that helped, including Stampy Longhead for the voices, and then some other random people, including myself. I was actually one of the first people to help playtest the map. Uh, I was the first person to complete the map, both in single-player testing and in multiplayer testing, multiple times. Uh, so that is actually a reason why I won't be doing a playthrough of this map on my channel, simply because I've already played it so many times. But let me go ahead and give you a quick look at the map, because it is a really awesome project, and I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and play it for yourselves. The map is jam-packed with all sorts of culture, history, and interesting facts, all bound up in the nice little package of a vibrantly decorated toy shop window. You play in survival mode and are given a few instructions, so you're basically told to pretty much do whatever the heck you want. So you're allowed to break blocks, farm for things, and try to hunt for the various badges and discs that you're told to find throughout the map in whatever way you see fit. This map is designed to encourage you to break the rules, try to figure out what you can and cannot do, and revitalizing the incredible feeling of freedom and curiosity that you have when you first play Minecraft. It certainly does spur you on to discover new things. For example, can I break through this wall and escape the map? Yes, yes I can. Can I build my own map to parkour along this wall? Yes, yes you can. Can I explore a cave filled with diamonds? Of course. This map certainly offers a lot of fun stuff to do, and it'll take you quite a while to find all the secrets and stuff in it. So if you've got the time, bring a friend with you, have some fun discovering, creating, and being inspired. There's certainly lots to do. I just thought that I'd introduce you all to this map if you haven't already seen it, because it is quite a fun to play and I greatly enjoyed myself when I was playing it a couple times. So if you're interested in playing a complete the monument type of map, this is definitely a good bet to go for. But that's about all I have for today, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye bye.